The seven-chapter report by the UG Department of Communication Studies and Partners mirrors the poor working conditions of many media practitioners. Work without pay, recruitment challenges, and lack of health care support are just a few of the issues many journalists are bedeviled with. The working conditions of journalists is very, very poor and it makes the practice of journalism even more precarious than you would think it should be. And I really do think that media owners and media managers must be engaged on this very critical issue. Of concern is the politicization in media ownership and the fact that it's opaque, it's not transparent. And so we really don't know who is behind some of the media that we consume. Many journalists, especially investigative journalists, are at risk of attacks in their professional duty. And in all of these, state actors, including political appointees and the police, are said to be the worst perpetrators of attacks on journalists. Working conditions are not good. Journalists are not well catered for. Salaries are very low. In fact, they are very poorly paid. In some cases, not even paid at all. Um, they don't get benefits. Most journalists don't get health care support, including even when they've suffered trauma in the line of work. Uh, a lot of journalists or media personnel are working without contracts. She added that the financial health of many media outlets is nothing to write home about. Financial health of the media in Ghana is not good. Um, most media organizations, it appears, are lucky when they break even. Otherwise, they are running at a loss. So the monies that come in are not enough to cover the expenses or the operational cost for running uh, the media. Executive Secretary of the National Media Commission, George Sapong, says the NMC will carefully study the report and take the necessary steps. When it comes to the report, it has established firmly for us the state of the media. And uh, all of us are going to study it very carefully. There are a number of things that some of us need to do as uh, policy makers. We are going to take that very seriously. Our hope is that when God gives us another opportunity to meet over a report like this, we will be able to show how much progress we have made based on what we have learned from this report. One thing that stands out in the report is content regulation. According to Professor Audrey Gajepo, the country lacks a framework for scrutinizing the content of some media outlets. The lacuna has been occasioned because we don't have a broadcasting law. So we, we do have a problem. So we know that young people are susceptible to content that they consume. We know that false news and disinformation has become an epidemic. So there needs to be a, a, a sort of a, a framework that will help us address some of these issues and mitigate it. State actors and policymakers were urged to restructure the various regulatory institutions to ensure a more vibrant media ecosystem in the country. Christian Yale, TV3 News, University of Ghana, Legon.